test for brakes a brake is generally subjected to the following test to find for the construction work 1 absorption 2 crushing strength 3 hardness 4 presence of soluble salts 5 shape and size 6 soundness 7 structure 1 absorption a brick is taken and it is weighed dry. It is then immersed in water for a period of 16 hours. It is weighed again and the difference in weight indicates the amount of water absorbed by the brick. It should not exceed 20% of weight of dry brick. 2. Compressive Crashing Strength of Bricks The crashing strength of a brick is found out by placing it in a compression testing machine. It is pressed till it breaks. 3. Hardness A good brick should resist scratches against sharp things. So, for this test, a sharp tool or fingernail is used to make scratch on brick. If there is no scratch impression on brick, it is said to be hard brick. 4. Presence of soluble salts. 1. The soluble salts cause efflorescence on the surface of bricks. 2. For finding out the presence of soluble salts in a bricks, it is immersed in water for 24 hours. It is then taken out and allowed to dry in shade. 3. The presence of white deposits on indicates the presence of soluble salts. 5. Shape and size 1. In this test, a brick is closely inspected. It should be standard size and its shape should be truly rectangular with sharp edges. 2. For this purpose, 20 bricks of standard size 225 mm into 112.5 mm into 75 mm are selected at random and they are stacked lengthwise along the width and along the height. 3. For good quality brake, the result should be within the following permissible limits. 6. Soundness. In this test, the two brakes are taken and they are struck with each other. The brick should not break and clear ringing sound should be produced. 7. Structure A brick is broken and its structure is examined. It should be homogeneous, compact and free from any such as holes, lumps, etc.